Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking. We have got some fun auction finds. I know we've got some cool coinage in this um, unboxing, as well as some really amazing, obviously, sewing things. This is the coolest sewing box I've ever seen. We'll look, investigate it even more. But we're going to go through each and every one of these boxes, totes. Um, this is exactly how we get it from Paul's dad, who goes to all the auctions. He literally just brings it in in these boxes, and then we go through it. So we're going to show you each and every item. Remember, you can buy all of these items. We put a lot of them on our auction website, and it gives you the timeline of when everything closes, which is usually an hour before our live auction on Fridays. We already have some auction things on there, and we're going to add all of these things as well. So go to hookedonpicket.com. Go to the auction section. You'll find all of our auctions and be able to bid on these um, really easily. And so we're super excited about that. Each person gets an individual invoice for each item that they actually win. So be looking for multiple invoices if you bid on multiple items. Let's go ahead and unbox all the stuff. All right, we're going to go ahead and unbox. Kelly's going to help me unbox. All right, I guess we'll just start down here. Okay. Everybody needs some Spider-Man molds. <laughs> Spider Man molds. Jello molds, I guess. Cookies. Cake molds, I think. I think. Bunnies. Because uh, it's with all the cake stuff. What is this guy? Is this SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Somebody lives in a pineapple under the sea. All right, then we have. It'll say that that paper probably it's said. Phineas and Ferb. Is, oh, it is Phineas, Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. Yes. Something about summer yeah. vacation. Oh, that one's actually really cute. It's a bear. Little bear. Aww. We got egg. Good Easter. And then a bunch of cookie cutters. Oh, these are Sesame Street. Aww. Bert, Somebody's definitely going to want those. Bert, Ernie. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. A big bird. Beautiful. That's yes. really cute. A little cast iron wall hanging. Oh, pumpkin. Perfect time of the year for that. <gasps> Hey, there's poo in this box. We found poo in the box. We need the poo. You're not lying, though. Yeah. Oh, this is like a whole cake. Double-sided cake. Ooh, it's like 3D. You can make one of them fancy cakes. Yeah. Fancy. Well, you can, I can't. Right. How would that work? You just... I bet Callie could make it. We have this. Callie Ferguson? That you totally make a 3D Or the cake yeah. mix in this one and this one and bake, bake them. It. Yeah. I don't know what Callie baked. Callie bakes? Oh, yeah. yeah. She makes amazing cakes. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. This is for if you would like to be a conehead, then. It's so <laughs> you. It just made me think of the Coneheads movie. What is this for? The box says what? It is. Oh! Oh, to make the Barbie. Oh, the doll cake. Yeah. Well, there we go. Classic. Somebody's going to want that now. <gasps> Scooby-Doo. Okay, do the voice. I don't know what Scooby-Doo is. Wait. How do Scooby-Doo's go? I don't remember. I can I, do the Jetsons voice. Oh, you, you do the Jetsons yeah. voice. That's <laughs> I right. I can do the Jet, the, the Rut Roll Railroy. That there one, I can do that one. But I don't do Scooby Doo. Some more cookie cutters. Oh, these are actually really collectible. Like door, old the school old door door knobs. knobs. That probably just got thrown in the bottom of the uh, flap. Because here's like the whole, like it's for the whole door. Yeah, you got everything you would need. No uh, name on the handle or anything, is there? On the handle? I don't think so. Can I see? Yeah. Thank you. I don't think nice one. design. It's old. But it's like the whole apparatus. Sometimes there's a marking on there. Alright, that's a cool Somebody's going to like this more than the cake stuff. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, I think I'm going to try to bring the chair to sit down. Okay. Get close-ups. I have some smaller stuff. We've got coinage. Okay. Steel War pennies made in World War II. Does it show both? I'm pretty sides? sure. Probably. I can sell this, right? Huh? Yes. It was left. Yep. Amy's back there selling stuff. Wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. That's what she does. These are neat. I got one of these when I was a kid one time. Loved it. Thought it was amazing. 1943, I believe. 43. Are they all 43? I think they're all 43. 43. I think they're all 40. Well, that's a 44 up here. 
Yep. Because uh, I think aircraft manufacturing was making, uh, was needing the copper. So okay. they went to steel pennies. This one says United States Constitution coins. Ooh, fancy. Is there actually coins in there or just? Probably in the middle there, Heather. Right here? Yep, that's the box. Oh, I don't know how this works. How? Just gotta open it like a jewelry box. This right here is gonna be opened. Oh. There we go. I'm not smart enough. <laughs> Clearly, Paul does not get you enough fancy jewelry. Yep, exactly. Velvet boxes. Exactly. Velvet boxes. <laughs> Literally, the only. It is well, my fault. No, I'm actually, sure of it. That's, that's the gist. Yes. <laughs> this this could be 90 percent silver. Really, or what it is is if he got me fancy jewelry, I would look at him and yeah. go, "Well, what'd you do that for? We could have done something right. practical." <laughs> that's literally what would have happened. Yeah, this is silver. Is it? This is like 90% silver. And it's in a fancy box. And it's neat. And it's got the Constitution on it. We the people. Very cool. That's nice. Dad tries to snag some things uh, at auction there. I'm going to put that back together. Mm -hmm. There's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, great. Let's see here. Well, that has a whole chart on the back. Certificate of Authenticity is on the back here. See? Oh! Like it's got that. So this is what this is. 2014 United States Mint Uncirculated Coin Set, Philadelphia. Huh. That's kind of clever. That's really cool. There we go. Got one of them there. Yep. Then we have... Another fancy box. United States Mint Proof Set, 1999. Great year. It's a great year. Is that when you graduated high school, Paul? It is. We were cool. We were also terrified of Y2K. <laughs> True story. Certificate of Authenticity. Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> terrified of Y2K. Everybody was buying water. They didn't go after the toilet paper then. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was working at Walmart during Y2K. Everybody was going nuts. That had to be a fun time. We did have a bit of a rush on toilet paper, but we never ran out at did our Walmart. Did you work at Walmart during Y2K, Amy? No, I was in high school. Oh. I was not working at Walmart. I remember, I, I remember being terrified. I yeah. kept having to fill the water. And everybody at Walmart was terrified if the registers go down, could we make change? Because <laughs> no nobody could do math. <laughs> Wheat pennies. Oh, those are cool. It's a penny from 1919. 1929, like 1944, in here, which is cool. 52, 53, 49, 39, 26. That's kind of neat. I didn't know wheat pennies were on various Dated. different years. I thought it was just like one time period, but it's a lot longer time period than I thought it was. We'll Our, put it on the auction. Yeah, Lose so your these, minds. These are going to go on the hookdownpicking.com <laughs> auction. I opened this already, so nice. The 2011 United States Mint. Um, so these will be on hookedonpicking.com under the auction section, and then we'll have a starting bid price, and then you just bid it up from there. Yep. That's been working out pretty well, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yep. The, the only thing I want to uh, tell everybody is that you're going to get an invoice for each individual item. So yep. you pay them individually, but we will box it together and then send you a remainder yep. of... Uh, if you have a shipping difference, we always refund that. World War II 50th Ooh, anniversary This coins. is a big fancy jewelry box, Cal. Whoa. You know how to handle that? I don't know. It's a little too much for me. I'm feeling I'm feeling worse and worse, Cal. <laughs> nope. This is, again, 90% silver. He provides everything I need, guys. That's right. Very 90% neat. silver, you said? Yeah, it's got to be. Those are just cool-looking coins. Yep. Are those like all military people? Mm-hmm. Looks like V-Day. Nice. This one's purple. Purple. United States Mint Proof Set 1991. 1991. What were you doing in 91, Heather? 91. Let me see. You would have been 12. I was, I was 12 11. years old. She yeah. was already reselling stuff. and. <laughs> I'm sure I was. You were probably you were reselling your mom's cookies. I was. I was reselling my mother's cookies. Age eleven. 
He used to, yeah, he did literally sell Janet's cookies. I did. <laughs> it's a very lucrative business. It is. I know, especially her cookies. Mm -hmm. Good grief. All right, I think that's the last of the coins. The last of the coins? What yeah. else do we got in the box? Uh, we'll look and see if we might have more. We've got these cool purses. Like little diamonds on the top of those. That looks vintage, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little <gasps> wallet thingy that goes with it. Nice. What's the little tag on here say? Corday Bend? Bead? Corday Bead? Made in the USA. That's clever. That is clever. I didn't know we made purses. Look at this one. Apparently. I remember when everything used to have this plastic on it. Is that Bakelite? Yeah, I think so. That's a cool looking purse. That is a cool looking purse. Somebody will dig it, man. Can you dig it? That's, that is kind of clever. I start singing that song. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the only part of the song I know. <laughs> it's probably good. <laughs> yeah. I probably yeah. Probably the rest of the song is inappropriate. Ooh, look at that. Are these flowers or what are what is that, guys? It looks kind of like flowers. I guess. Can you uh, unzip it and make sure there's not thousands of dollars in there? Coins. No. Oh, be, one day. One day it's gonna happen. Yep. <laughs> Always read those stories about those people that go to like uh, Goodwill and they open something or the back of a painting is. Yeah. That's where Grandma hit all of her cash, cash or whatever. Cool. All what? right, Kelly, open that. Make sure Kelly's gonna open it. Ooh, there's something in it. <gasps> what? Oh, there is. Isn't that pretty? It's, it's gold. Solid gold. Oh, makeup. Nice. Used. What's it say right there on it? Cover girl. No, I don't know. What does that say? It's USA. Something. Majestic, maybe? No, it looks better now. Yeah, that was better when you did that, yeah. Made in the USA, now that's, that is something. Might want to check for a gold stamp on it. Vintage. Vintage makeup, makeup. thingy. Still has Compact. the original powder puff. That's cool. There you go. Scrapbooks. Ooh, that's an old scrapbook. Oh. <gasps> old, Gra someone graduated. Old people. Old people. Oh, man. Oh, that's a cute baby. Oh, that is a cute baby. <laughs> Believe it or not, somebody's going to love these. Yes. I know it's not your family, but black I, and white photos are I think you could just pretend are worth it's your money. Family. Yeah. Makeup stories. That's Look at that. Just Kids wearing a want. hat there. Oh, that those are cool pictures. Some neat living in a tent. Look at the columns. This is um, 1924. 1924. Wow. Two years, nine months old. Wow. It's like, it's like a movie star. It does look like a movie star. Mm -hmm. 1936. Those are really cool pictures. Here, I think we have the rest of them. Here. Great photos. If there's a photo of a car, sometimes that those are worth really? money too. Oh, that oh was a my new... goodness! Look at this. Look at the aircraft. That would be cool. The hair on that baby. The hair on the baby. <laughs> this this is one's neat. a neat look, one. Look at the cabin or house. Ooh. Because... <laughs> Look at this is that's a that's a old school oh, pack and play. School. Old school. Or <laughs> prison. In jail. Pr You're in jail. Slash prison. <laughs> oh, I think we saw this page right. Yeah. Let's go page by page. Let's see what else is there. Okay. So we got Especially with that aircraft. old aircraft. That would have been neat. Anything else you see? A lot of just landscape type of Ooh, look at that old building. Yeah. Probably a church, I'm going to oh, guess. Oh, look at these pictures. Here's another. Studs. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, nice hat, guys. Kind of has a Dick Tracy look, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or gangster feel yeah. to it. Someone graduated. Oh, there's a car. Yeah, there is a car in the back there. That's definitely an old. Yeah, look at that. What's that say? A Boy Scout camping. Yeah. Neat. That's cool. These are really fun. Is 
like there's a little bit of a vehicle picture there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Look at those two. Very cool. Great. Right. Someone's gonna love it. We got another book of it. Yep. So these are 1940s. This one says fall of 1940. I'm just gonna kind of do a flyby and see if we can find some. Yeah. Unique. Ooh, look at those little tiny ones. Hmm. 1947. Let's see how late it goes. 1955. Guys on a horse. Clydesdale looks like. Yeah. Alrighty. Very neat. This is weird. I don't know why there's tin on it, but this sometimes, is also... sometimes you gotta gotta be tin foil. Some more old photos. Uh huh. Oh, look at that old church. The old church. I don't know what church that was. Something um, Catholic church. Yeah. In Montana. Look at that building. That's Havana, Cuba. Oh. That's Mono. It's probably a hotel or it's a castle. Yeah. Cost... I think it says castle. Castle or, cost... you know, who knows. When you could go uh, take a trip to Cuba and no, no big deal. Yeah, that's crazy. I guess they've opened some of Cuba back. Yeah, up they now. have. They did a while ago. Neat. All right. Neat. I've got washboard abs. Yeah, you do. Look at you. <laughs> have any advertisement on the front there? No, it's just a plain one. Would have been right there. It's all faded yeah. off though. Some newspaper clippings of 1970. College. This looks like a scrapbook of some sort. Mm-hmm. Neat pictures though. Yeah, Someone's cool. gonna like it. There's a look at that one. That's kind of a cool cover on that. We got somebody's family scrapbook collections, but we got 1936. They kept good records. Yeah, they did. They did. Now it's all on our phones. Yep. We never print pictures. Nope. Alright, so there's that. Let's see. Long of burgers and someone's sack lunch. Yep. Probably dads. They're probably dads. All right, look at all these. What we're probably going to do is we're probably going to put some of these on the uh, live auction. Uh, and some um, online. Yeah, some online and some on Friday's live this auction. This one says Longa Burger Discovery Basket, 1492 to 1992. Think of all the discoveries you can have with this basket. Yeah. And also America was discovered in 1492 by Columbus. But... Yeah. There we go. Oh, this is like a little light. Oh, look at the scene. Oh, neat. It's like a little winter scene. Something like that. Breakables. Breakables, yeah. All right, you want to sit back down again? I'll put all these oh, little... Oh, okay. In front of you. How's that? Beautiful. Because there's a lot of little stuff in this. Little angel. Oh, it's glass angel. There's two of those. I think they're sake cups, I think. Looks like a set. I think, uh... Let's see, what does this say? There must be a lid somewhere from that. Hold on. Yeah, here's the lid, I think. Maybe? No, no not yet. What are these? These look like lids to something. Yeah, here. I got this one, but I don't have the lid to the square one. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we have the lid to that one. Maybe we'll find it in another box. John Edwards, England. Porcelain. So this is just a bunch of like boxes. We got strainer with a pot. Some of your basic stuff there. Mm -hmm. Somebody might still want it, but. This one says. Uh, Magnolite? Yeah, that's what I yeah. would say. So, yeah, just some basic pots and pans. Alright. Lid. Alright. I have this. A ton of, looks like silver plate stuff there. What is this? A little egg bowl. An egg bowl. 
hand painted. Oh, so uh, label nip on there. So I, that'll tell you the year. Sometimes it says Japan. Sometimes it says occupied Japan. Sometimes it says nip on. And I can't remember if that is. I think that's the marking that they would have on them before World War II, but I'm not 100% certain. There was a time period. We got that far. This is. Party light. Yeah, look. Party light candles? Yeah, they like link together. Ooh. Yeah, and it comes with the candles. Party light. See? It's all about a party. Light. It's like a cauldron almost. I'm digging it. That's actually really cute. And that candle comes out, so it's just a giant jar candle. Kelly, are you excited about all this? I am. She's pumped. I like the little cauldron. The little cauldron. Somebody will turn it into Halloween decor. Yeah, it, they will. All right, then it looks like we got a bunch of silver plate. Um, it's hard to read this one. It's kind of scratched. Uh, this one says... We'll probably lot it up is what yeah. we'll do. If we can find a serving silver set. Silver Company. This one says Oneida. This one's Oneida too. Yeah. What's this there? Ooh, that's a really cute one, isn't it? Look at that. This one. I can't read it real well. I'll look at it later. We can list it. This one's kind of cool too. Chips and dip. Yeah. Chips and dip. Is that what you said? That's what I think of. <laughs> then we have yeah, this go together. There you okay, go. Those are kind of ornate looking. Yep. All right, so we have a whole Sugar and creamer. Yeah. That'd be good. Kind of keep that as a set. Ooh, Coca-Cola. That's what we haven't seen. No, we haven't seen that scene. I've seen this scene before. Yeah, but that's a different size, I think, than we have had before. Somebody put wire to hang it up on a... Yeah. This one, we've seen this picture, but I don't think it was in that good a condition. Yeah, it's a nice it, condition. Yeah, because we it was kind of scratched up. These got age to them, too. This says fully automatic party percolator. Is this like a coffee pot? Here's the cord. Yeah. The cord's been sitting in the box for a while. Yeah, it's a cool coffee pot. This is like they only brought it out for special occasions. Well, it's been used. It kind of looks space agey. Doesn't it with the gold on the bottom? Oh, yeah, like that. The the way the legs are, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Cool. Somebody might like it. I don't and know. It comes with its original box. Alright, what's in here? Lots of rando. Ooh, these are... What does this say? This is super duper heavy. Whatever it is. And it says, silver on copper. Awesome. Can you flip it so we can see what it says on yeah, the bottom? let's see. You can see me too. Hey, it's everybody. really, really, really heavy. <laughs> silver on copper. Well, then there's some kind of stamping that's happened there. So it looks more. like almost a number 10, kind of. Is but there look, more? It's the whole set. Do you have the whole set? Yeah, I think so. Hold on. This all goes together. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that is fancy looking. So you're going to pick this up? Can a little like sterno in there? That is really clever, Heather. Yeah. Is that silver on copper too? Yes, this one is actually a maker has marks so better? Yeah. Yeah. That's a neat set. Somebody's going to really like that. I really like this whole stand situation you got. Oops. See how it can pour? Yeah. Oh, I See? get it. That's so fun. You don't even have to pick it up. It's like jewelry boxes. I don't know how to open. <laughs> Too fancy for me. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the whole set we got going That's on cool. here. And they're all silver. They all say silver on copper. Like it. Oh. So yeah, you got your sugar bowl, creamer bowl. If this is creamer and that is sugar, what is this? I don't know. Oh look, there's even a little one. Maybe we have two sets? That maybe is tea because it's got a strainer on the inside. A strainer. See the little dots right here? Right there. Um, Can I you think see that's it? just where the tea would go, right? See? But you're right, it could be that. It could very so well be a, that. Oh, so that whole set will be sold together. Don't you think? Yeah, for sure. 
That's be a, a massive really set. Cool Kelly's going to love taking a photo of that. Kelly takes yeah. all the photos. She does a wonderful job, doesn't she, she does. everybody? She's already ready. Yep. She's pumped. She already had her good cry on the way here, thinking about all the pictures she'd have to take. <laughs> oh, there's a piece right there. Got a little insert. The Pyrex? Yeah. So. This is hammered aluminum. See the hammer marks? The collar, at least. And it is Everwear Forged Aluminum. Okay. Actually, this, Forgeware. This one has got the same thing. Nope, just Forged Aluminum. It's got the Pyrex insert. Nice. Does it say Pyrex on the glass? Uh, yep. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, I think we can kind of make it out there. Okay. Yep. Take our word for it. I like okay. the I like the hammer aluminum pieces. These are nice. Whee! Are you having fun? Yep. Neat stuff Dad came up with. This Ooh. can also be worn as a hat. This one's really pretty. Look at the rose in it. It's like glass inside? Yeah. It is. Neat. I thought it was damaged, but it isn't. It's made to be this way. Clever. And now there's a giant wooden bowl. Of course there is. It's like our mini canoe. Or mini canoe. Mini yeah. canoe. For tiny babies. <laughs> this was the basket that Moses' mother put him in. And, and sent, sent him down the Nile. Yes, that's exactly what it was. It's a priceless artifact of biblical uh, longer burger basket time period. Here. Ooh, that's a cool little... I have to show me the bottom to see if it's worth anything. It says something. It says something. USA. Well, it? Let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's see if we can come up with a name here. USA. What does that say? Oh, look, I think... Rosmill? Rosmelly? I don't know. Somebody's going to know exactly what it is and they're going to go, wow, I must have it. This says Oxford Stoneware, but look at the cool details. And on the bottom it does say... Oxford Stoneware? Nice. It's a bowl with a history. Look at this thing. We sold another one. This one's much larger and much bigger and much everything. Okay, ready? And it goes like this. Ooh, uh, ooh. Look at all the stuff in there. Should be like cheering <laughs> while we open it. And the crowd goes wild. I'm just gonna sell it with all the stuff in it. We're gonna sell it exactly how it is. It's where Grandma hit all the gold. Yep. Great. Heather just broke it. I didn't. Now it's worth five dollars. <laughs> All right. We have a whole flat of randomness. The last time we just sold the whole flat. Oh, look at all the Pez dispensers. What is this? Chicago. Paperweight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, remember these fidget spinners. Still works. Yes. We'll probably just sell the whole flat. That'll probably be on the uh, the live auction. Got a little pottery here. Yeah, there's a little chip right here, but you can't even see it from the top. It's somebody's name on it. Mexj.s. Those look like thimble so salt These, and pepper shakers. They still have salt and pepper in them. That's good. That's extra. That's a really fun... Look at this. This little lady. She's a salt and pepper shaker, too. Yeah. Probably her pair would have been... They would have been kissing. That's my oh, guess. Oh, probably. What you what got there? That? Travel alarm clock. S Spartus. <laughs> Spartus. Spartus. They made the best traveling alarm yes, clocks. Yes. For all those businessmen. Looks like this is a candle holder because it has a little... 
Nice. Tip, just a plain salt and pepper shaker. Beautiful. More Americana. Longer burger. Got some cookie cutters. Longer burger. Longer burger. Oh, hey, are those cookie cutters? Are they Sesame Street also? These? Yes, it is. It's uh, Oscar probably, the Grouch. Probably need the to put count. them with those other ones. We will. Aww. It's the yeah. Count and Oscar the Grouch and a couple of stars. Oh, yeah. Let's put the whole grouping oh. together. Hey, we have another one of these. You have a pair? We do have a pair. And then we have more Longer Burger. More Longer Burger. And a burger. giant cork. Everybody needs one. Giant corks. S and C company. Beautiful. Okay. What is this? Oh, wait. We might find the lid to that one square one. Looks like somebody's whole china set. Yeah. Does this go here? Yeah, it does. Ironstone China, Burgess, Burslem. Hmm. Looks like we have mixed pieces here. Yeah, I think so. Sadler, England. Made in England. Oh, perfect. Oh, we, we found, found the lid. lid. This one goes like that. This one's missing the handle. Made in England. Oh, wait, here's another one. Price Kensington. One oh, that one goes to the other one. Tudor. Look at the look at the lid to this one. Where's that one made? This one. Wow. Oh, now we have the lids to everything. Germany. Don't we? Oh, okay. White elegance. Match though, do they? I don't think so. Okay. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's just a collection of them. Hmm. Oh, look what's in the bottom of that. Nice metal butterfly. Yeah, and it's a wall hanging. Yeah. It's cool looking. It's like a bookend. And a random photograph. That's all that's in here. Is that a painting? I don't know if it's a print or a painting. Mm, it doesn't look super old. Oh, I think I found the uh, broken. The top to that was, that was yeah. broken. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody might like these. I don't know. Yeah. Well, if we uh, take a picture of what's on the bottom, it might yeah. complete somebody's set that they broke or something. We got all these like tin. Got some dusty barn finds here. Enamel stuff. I'm going to see. Does it have no markings no. on that one? Look at that guy. Neat. Anything on the bottom? Anything? Nope. Okay. This one's kind of cool, too. Nothing on the bottom of it. They're just kind of big metal. Yeah. And we got a couple of holes. We should probably sell it with the dust on it. Just for authenticity. We'll call it it's Patina. Patina? <laughs> hey, let's find some treasures, Paul. Somebody threw in a metal detector. I'll have to see if it works. I tried to turn it on earlier and I couldn't Probably do it. To turn it on. My guess. I had one like that at one yeah. time. Did it have batteries in it? Uh, No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Does it look like it's roached out inside? No, mm mm. Probably does work. We could just sell it as is if we wanted. Yep. Well, we'll try it. Look at this guy. I'm not sure. Is this like for spoons around the end? I don't know what all those hooks are for. This kind of looks like it would be, right? Spoons? It's got something written on it, though. Somebody's name, maybe? Don't know. Maybe Kelly can make it out. Let's watch her focus. No pressure. She'll figure it out. M. A. Rudiger. M. A. Rudiger. M. A. Rudiger. We have your award. Handiwork, made in Holland. That's pretty, Heather. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This is pretty. Oh, that's a it's nice like a bell. bell. Yeah, it's like a brass bell. Boy, this looks old. Yeah. What is this? There's a mortar and pestle for you. Huh. Uh, this says something. Almost looks like Paul, but I don't know the last one. 
The Apostle Paul. Yes. Paul. Made by the Apostle Paul. It's priceless. Yeah, I don't. It looks like someone's name, but it does say Paul. What was what was the Apostle Paul's last name? <laughs> like Moreno or. Was his last name Moreno? I don't know. Well, there you go. We don't know. Could have been. That's what it says here. Boom. We have the Apostle Paul's um, pottery. Sweet horse. Thing on the bottom. Nope. Yeah, what is this? It's a mortar and pestle. But it's an old school one. It goes well with the cauldron. Yes. Put it with the cauldron. Absolutely. I'm guessing it doesn't have anything on the bottom. No. I have no idea what that's even made out of. Some kind of stone. Yeah. Who knows how old this thing is? Little stand. Adam and Eve were using it. You never know. That looks like the tall one we have. It does. Very so similar. We'll probably sell that as a set. Uh, different marking on the bottom though. USA something. Yep, it does match. Does it match? Very, like very similar. Mm -hmm. We got a few more longer burgers. We have a camera. High tech Kodak Instamatic. Instamatic. The X15. Beautiful. Colorado Springs Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Mm. Oh. We got some stones in here, ladies and gentlemen. Chocolate. I know, right? We're so disappointed. This is probably worth more than chocolate. To who? To who? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if it can give me money to buy chocolate, I'd be fine. <laughs> right. We're working our way. This looks like right? petrified wood. This looks like some kind of amethyst geode. That's a fossil in there. Look at that. So we'll just, do you want to just sell that whole box with all the rocks? You know what? You can buy a box I, of rocks. I will sell a box of rocks. <laughs> I think it's exactly what we should do. But don't worry, you'll be smarter after buying This, it. <laughs> they call a round rock. Okay. I'm deep. You are deep. All right, that was it. That's it? That's, That's it. all the finds we got. So you can go to straighttohunkdownpicking.com and find a bunch of these items, and then you'll see some on the live auction tomorrow. So you can you have until 11 o'clock Central Standard Time to bid on all the things online. Then you'll immediately get an invoice for each individual item. Yes, you'd have to pay for the invoices individually. We'll refund you if you overpay on shipping. Yes. And then... Um, Paul was waving his hand, so I thought that there was something special I needed to say. So 11 at... I'm just uh, waving goodbye at you guys. Oh, gotcha. So at noon Central Standard Time, join us for the live three-hour auction tomorrow. So we're super excited about that. But go to hotelpicket.com to the auction section. You'll find all this stuff right now. And re remember, in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.